And ladies and gentlemen, talking of Bombay Velvet, for your information, it is set in the backdrop of black and white cinema, gold smuggling, and the prohibition of liquor. The city's first mafia dons trams and unused tram lines, jazz clubs, and derbies that attracted the city's elite and fashionable. Tabloids and scams, innocence and greed, dreams and crimes. And of course, Bombay Velvet is a gritty film newer that chronicles the birth of a city that never sleeps. Well, that's a little background of the movie Bombay Velvet. And uh, it's my pleasure now to invite the award-winning director of uh, Bombay Velvet, Mr. Anurag Kashya. Let's put our hands together and give him a round of applause. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it's been like it's been more than a month now that we've been in Sri Lanka and shooting this film that we've been working for for nine years. And so far, we've been all these years we've been trying to put together this film and traveling across the world to find parallels to the city of Bombay because Bombay is ever changing and constantly changing and looking for the whole 60s art deco and a lot of architecture and the vintage cars and people who also could look in and all those things you know making this film until we landed in Sri Lanka in March I none of us thought this film would be possible and today we are in the production of the film and we are making this film and it is happening because of Sri Lanka and two people who I really want to thank very much is one is one of our producers Vivek Agarwal who found this option and who took us to Mr. Namal Rajpaksha and who said that we liked the location he said if you want to come here you tell us and we would love you to come here and shoot this film and make everything possible and the way things have been happening since we have shot some 30 percent so far and now we are going to move to Serendip studio where the bigger portion of the film is going to be shot and it's, it's really been a very smooth sailing it's been like a dream shooting I don't think in India we could have shot this film like that so smoothly where we have been given facilities we have been given heritage buildings we are shooting there where the traffic police everybody is supporting us the people here are the most amazing cooperative people the Sri Lankans are the most cooperative people when they know there is shooting going on and we request them that because we are shooting sing sound they cooperate, they don't make noise, people have opened their houses and doors for us to shoot and it's actually been a dream. We've just been shooting without realizing that there's a whole lot of other logistics that we need to control because people behind the scenes are doing that for us. And thank you for having us here and thank you for making our dream a reality. Thank you so much sir. Thank you so much.